Yes, Jai Mata Di everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel R4 Rohit Rodosar Classes. Today's topic is how to create a bar graph in MATLAB. Okay, I am using the version R2020A. Okay, and uh, you can implement this bar graph in any version. Now, first of all, uh, what is bar graph? And uh, first, uh, the bar charts are basically one of the many techniques used to present the data in a visual form so that the reader may readily recognize the patterns or the trends right this is the definition of your bar graph or we can say that bar charts now start with the clc command clc is used to clear the command window now, okay clear the command window now after that clear all clear all is used to clear the workspace right Then after that, close all. First of all, enter the data that uh, which type of data you want for uh, representing the bar chart. Now, first of all, I am taking a variable a, and in this I am entering the values. Let's suppose enter the values ten. Then after that, thirteen. Then after that 14 correct now there is an inbuilt command that is a bar okay we want the bar graph of which one okay uh, this is x comma y right width style color name values anything you can take now i am just taking first of all that a because i want a bar graph of this a the a is the values that i entered in this now Select that part and check the result. This is the result. Okay. Uh, we, I entered the three values. First value is this one. Second is this one. And third one is this one. Correct. Okay. Now in this. Now A comma. Right. I am entering this. Uh, like, let's pose this bar. Now this is the width, style, color. Right. Let's suppose I am uh, uh, changing the color. A comma color I want red okay red in terms of single inverted correct and close this and check out the result the color change that is in the red formation there are very interesting topics in this uh, video please uh, watch the this video till end okay now next thing is that if I have a two values, okay, let's suppose this 10, 11 and uh, 13, 22 I am taking, right? And uh, one more thing is 14 and uh, let's suppose I am taking the value again, uh, 1, 6, okay? Now, and uh, I am checking the output, this one, okay? Uh, this, this is in the red color. If I remove this red one and only A, then the color is changed. That is in two different forms. Correct? This is about the uh, bar graph. Now, you can, we can change this into next form like this one. Okay, now check out the result. Okay, fine. Now, our next target is. Now, our next task is. That is in a 3D form. Okay, right. If I entered it, it 3. That is in a 3D form. This one. And you can change by the help of clicking that part. Okay, now you can change this in the form of 3D. Okay, these are the values that I entered. Okay, now one more thing is that in the next form, let's suppose I am just taking this one uh, B is equal to I am representing that uh, okay, this I can take 2000 
because I have a three outputs that is one, two, and three. 2001 and 2002 correct now see the result that now again again and one more thing is that here i represent that b comma i correct now 2000 2001 2002 okay now if i write it here instead of 2002 7 it means that there is a difference there is a gap now this is the gap 2002 2003 4 5 6 7 but okay automatically it can be now next thing is that now one more thing i'm just changing that a comma b now let's see the result okay the result change because in the x the values are this one okay and in the y or in the case of amplitude the values are this one okay so that i am writing here for a correct bar graph that is b comma a okay clear that part now one more thing is that i am writing here it is a uh, Two, correct now if I want to change like now next is X label in the case of this X label I'm just taking in the X here correct in the Y label Now, then after that title, now title is basically a bar graph. Okay. Now, what is the important thing in this? What I'm doing? Change this font size of this headline that is here amplitude or a bar graph okay how write it here font size okay let's suppose i am taking uh, this uh, n font size i am just taking 20 here also of a title thirty. Okay, now okay, this one bar graph amplitude and this year correct now next thing is that this is all about the how to change the font size of the x label y label and title next thing is that how to use the legend command now in this Legend command. Okay. I have a three values. Now we can take it by we can write it first, second, third. Okay. Now next thing is that where you want. Okay. In the graph in the figure this legion command okay first of all i am showing that uh, what is the use of this just wait a minute yeah this one this shows this first second and third okay correct 
this is the legion command now if you can change it here write it click here and uh, drag it now this is drag it now okay now one more option i have location okay then after that you define this location part write it here location then after that write it here northeast outside okay location is northeast outside if i write it here south then this one okay this is the northeast if i write it here northwest sorry southwest then here this legion command okay this is all about the how to change the location and the font size in the bar graph now if i want to show in a 3d formation this one okay and if i again i want to change this font size into the small then 20 i'm just taking okay now this uh, title the font size of this title is now changed okay now thank you so much and uh, jai mata di